November 10, 2025 Dawn broke over a nation already buried in white. Highways in Illinois and Indiana stood frozen, a line of silent cars trapped under a sky that refused to stop snowing. Winds whipped across the Great Lakes, turning daylight into a blizzard haze. In Chicago, the skyline vanished behind a curtain of ice. It wasn't supposed to happen this early. Only a week ago, autumn leaves still covered the streets. But overnight, winter had arrived with vengeance, driven by Arctic air plunging south and colliding with warm, moist winds from the lakes. From Michigan to Wisconsin, from New York to Tennessee, America was paralyzed. Flights grounded, schools closed. Millions woke to a landscape unrecognizable. It was like someone flipped a switch, one driver said, and the whole country turned to snow. This was no ordinary cold front. It was winter's sudden invasion. The science behind the storm was as dramatic as the scene itself. In early November, a surge of Arctic air spilled southward from Canada, colliding with a mass of warm, moisture-laden air rising from the Great Lakes. The result was a meteorological explosion, a lake-effect snowstorm unlike anything seen this early in decades. As frigid winds swept across the relatively warm waters of Lake Michigan and Lake Erie, they absorbed moisture forming towering clouds that released snow at rates of 5 centimeters per hour. Satellite images showed vast white bands stretching hundreds of kilometers, blanketing everything in their path. At the same time, an upper-level jet stream dipped unusually far south, locking the cold air in place and amplifying the storm's reach. Meteorologists called it a perfect Arctic collision. Winter hadn't crept in quietly. It had descended like a hammer, striking from coast to coast. By November 11th, the United States looked like a frozen painting. The storm stretched from the Great Lakes to the Deep South, paralyzing travel and daily life across more than 40 states. In Indiana and Illinois, snow piled up over 30 centimeters, burying highways and trapping hundreds of drivers overnight. Michigan and Wisconsin recorded near-blizzard conditions, while New York and Pennsylvania braced for relentless lake-effect snow. Even states unaccustomed to winter chaos weren't spared. Tennessee and North Carolina saw their earliest snow in nearly three decades, while parts of Georgia and Florida plunged below freezing, the coldest November temperatures since the 1970s. Airports from Chicago O'Hare to Atlanta shut down as ice blanketed runways. Power lines snapped, trees collapsed, and entire neighborhoods disappeared under white drifts. Across America, one reality became clear. Winter had arrived early, and no one was ready for it. As the storm deepened, chaos unfolded from coast to coast. In Indiana and Michigan, visibility dropped to zero, a white curtain swallowing cars, highways, and even rescue vehicles. Emergency crews worked nonstop, pulling stranded drivers from snowdrifts as wind chills plunged below minus 20 degrees Celsius. In Chicago, the sound of sirens replaced traffic. The city's skyline disappeared into fog and snow. Buffalo was buried under a meter of fresh powder, while roofs buckled under the weight. Farther south, in Florida, stunned residents filmed palm trees coated in frost, a rare sight that quickly went viral. Flights were canceled by the thousands, power outages spread across the Midwest, and grocery store shelves emptied as panic buying swept through towns. For millions, it felt apocalyptic, a world gone silent under ice. America hadn't just been covered in snow. It had been stopped by it.
When the blizzard finally eased, the damage came into focus. More than 40 states reported severe disruption. Highways closed, power grids strained, and millions without heat as temperatures stayed below freezing. In Illinois and Indiana, hundreds of accidents clogged major interstates, forcing drivers to abandon their cars overnight. Across the Great Lakes, snowdrifts towered over two meters high, trapping families in their homes for days. Airports struggled to reopen, with over 6,000 flights canceled nationwide. Agricultural regions in the South faced devastating frost, destroying early crops and fruit trees. Emergency crews in the Red Cross opened shelters for thousands seeking warmth, while utility workers fought to restore power amid icy winds. In small towns, neighbors shared generators and food. Volunteers delivered blankets door to door. The storm had frozen America in place, but in its wake, it revealed something deeper a nation bound together by survival. As the Arctic blast retreated northward, forecasters offered cautious relief. The National Weather Service predicted that temperatures would rebound by 10 to 25 degrees Fahrenheit over the coming week. Snow would persist through Buffalo, Syracuse, and northern New England until mid-November, but a brief thaw was on the horizon. By the weekend, Chicago would climb back to the 40s, Nashville to the 60s, and even Florida would return to its usual 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit warmth. Yet meteorologists warned that this break might be temporary. A new cold front forming over Canada could bring another Arctic surge before the end of the month. For now, Americans could finally dig out, thaw frozen roads, and breathe again. But winter had made one thing clear. Its rain had only just begun. The November 2025 snowstorm will be remembered not just for its power, but for what it revealed. Winter had arrived earlier, colder, and more chaotic than anyone expected. Scientists warned that such extremes, rapid Arctic blasts, heavy snow in the south, record heat elsewhere, were all signs of a climate in imbalance. In towns from Buffalo to Birmingham, people spoke of a new kind of winter, one that could strike any time, anywhere. It wasn't just weather, it was a warning. A planet out of rhythm now writes its message in ice and wind. Yet, amid the frozen silence, resilience remained. Neighbors dug each other out, strangers shared warmth, and communities adapted. The snow will melt, one meteorologist said, but the lesson must remain. The storm had passed, but its legacy endured, a glimpse of winters yet to come. <laughs>